Hi everyone, Ben here. I'd just like to take a moment to thank some of our patrons. Paul Sims, Janelle Gobin, Rachel Lewis, Josh Zerka, Luke Adams, Bob the Zool, Maya Barrow, Robert Check Out My Freaky Table Rulerson, Ashley McConkey, David Pridmore, Ross Barlow, Simon Dodera, Heather McKenzie, Callum Thomas, Amy Barber, Scott Morrison, Rain, Elliot W. James, Charles Allen Marable, Kirsty Conrad. Thank you all. We really appreciate your support. If you'd like to join them, go to www.patreon.com forward slash Rusty Quill and take a look at our rewards. Welcome to the Rusty Quill Gaming Podcast. I'm your host and GM, Alex Newell, and with me today I have... Ben Meredith. Lydia Nicholas. Rick Monroe. James Ross. And who are you playing? Zolf Smith. Sasha Rackett. Harry Tuller, who are in Mount Aham. Sebastian McGuffigan. And also we've got Oscar Wilde kicking around. Ooh. So, yeah, as things have been starting, we're, we're into season two now on the most downer intro I could have possibly conceived. Yep. So, you know, congratulations Paris on that burning. one. Everyone's sad. It's not, even, it's not even, like, big and exciting. It's mostly just... Everyone's quiet because they're quite Food hungry riots. and tired. Yay. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> so, as it stands, you are uh, having defeated Mr. Ceiling and turned off, let's just say, the internet from now on. Having turned off the internet with the obvious. The world wasn't ready for it. It was too soon. It was too soon. The squishy, floppy brain net made of squishy, floppy bread, dead brains. How do we know that Google's not run on brains, guys? What do you mean? How do we know it's not? I mean, come on. It's, I assumed it was a given. Wake up, sheeple. <laughs> <laughs> so. This puts a lot of my work into a new perspective. <laughs> yeah. So, as it stands, you uh, were waiting in the hotel for a while and then eventually have been called upon by Oscar Wilde to get out of Paris and move on towards Prague. And he told us nothing because he's a word I can't say. In fairness, in fairness. We were in a rush true. and there may have been people listening in. Hammond just doesn't think of these things. It's not a clever session. <laughs> yeah. You'd be very bad in a movie where someone like came wait, for a wait, time wait. port and went, quick, there's no time to explain. And you're like, no, please explain it to me now. <laughs> the I'm thing not is, coming with you. <laughs> the thing is, saying there's no time to explain is literally the time you should have used to explain. If you can't sum it up in one sentence... You're not worthy of having this opportunity to come back in time and change things. Also, if you're in a time travel film, then surely by definition you can just arrive a little bit earlier. <laughs> That's so a really good no point. At all. Not if time's rolling up behind you. What if, it's a, what, what if you or don't something. have that much control <laughs> yeah. about when the portal opens? Yeah. You know, you have to aim for within a certain I can, hour. I can categorically say now, time travel will not be happening here. I have yet to find a way to make it work in a way that doesn't result in the universe I mean, ending. We just had our memories. Like, hey, but, uh, that's completely different. Okay. That's completely different. Yeah. So, as it stands, you were heading down the street and having a bit of a confrontation, and then you ended up with a couple of mysterious figures stepping in on uh, either end of the street which Wilde noticed. So, we'll pick up exactly where we left off, which is, you've all just noticed the figures, as has Wilde. They look threatening, don't they? All of you give me a perception check to see a bit more about them. Five. So Bertie knows he's in Paris. If we, this, <laughs> look, this, is, this is personal growth, that's good. Uh, 11. 11. Uh, 12. 12. 24. 24. Okay, so. Hammond's a bit on edge. Everyone apart from Bertie, Two distinctly sinister-looking figures have come in at either end of the street. Bertie, you see two people. That's the sum total. There are two people in this street, as well mm-hmm. as us. Wh- which two hasn't he noticed? Hamid and Sasha? You know what? <laughs> we, can, we can randomly determine. Oh, Bertie doesn't know he's there. <laughs> okay. So. I'm, if anything, the most noticeable. <laughs> I think, therefore, I am. The rest of ah, I've denied my own existence! <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> so, the figures are wearing... Big, full-length coats, not leather or anything, mostly just tatty kind of overcoat, maybe a great coat, maybe a trench coat, something similar. Mm-hmm. They're both wearing wide-brimmed hats. Mm-hmm. One of the things that, Hamid, you notice and the others haven't really had a chance to yet is as you are hold person and the person walks directly into your line of sight before you've been released, what you do see is that they seem slightly misproportioned. 
can't quite put your finger on it. Maybe their head's too large, or their hands are too large, or the feet are too there's small. There's three tro toddlers in a trench coat. Yeah, sure. The, the stats for toddlers, they're very, very weak. I See mean, at this level, I think you're above them in CR level. Just open their trench coat. Thousands of rats up here! <laughs> <laughs> it looks like one very tall spider that's using six of the legs to do magic tricks. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, it's a spider that's like quite shy and so needs a coping mechanism at parties. Yeah. <laughs> that's the pretty figure, scary. The figure at the far end of the street, which is the direction Hamid was trying to walk back into Paris for, steps out from behind an overturned mechanical carriage. Ladies and gentlemen, this is of course in gutter French. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very, uh, very sorry to uh, inconvenience you. I was wondering if I could have a quiet world with Mr. Wilde. I look at him. Parlez-vous anglais? <laughs> <laughs> he cocks his head and doesn't reply to Zolfin anyway. Right. Wild. Yeah, he's, he said hi, he wants to chat to Wild. Right. Wild sort of is very still and you can see to Sasha, to your practice die, this is the, this is the stance of someone who's slowly shifting their weight mm -hmm. just to be ready for something. And he just sort of mutters under his breath, we really need to leave here right now. That would be a really good idea if we leave here. Who are these now. people? These are from the Magormand lot. Then yeah. let's start with them. I cast Magic Missile. Bertie, Bertie <laughs> just simultaneously draws his sword um, and thinks about charging. Okay, <laughs> everyone give me an initiative roll. Will I get an action in a surprise round? Yes, you will, but we yeah. do initiative first because we're good RPGers. Okay, so what have you got? I've got 10. 22. 21. 20. Okay. Good rolling, people. Mm. Yeah. I mean, apart from Zol. Yeah, well. It, it beats the usual, like, three, I guess. He's got <laughs> sea legs. He's still his own land. He must be wobbly. So, you get to write in the surprise round first, Hamid, because you initiated. It basically went, hello, bang! <laughs> he said they were from the Gourmand. I don't like the Gourmand. Uh, <laughs> two missiles streak out from Hamid's fingertips, looping in opposite directions. One hits both of the two assailants at the end of the alleys. Uh, I do five damage to the one at the far end, who's nowhere near me, uh -huh. uh, and two damage to the one who's only about 30 foot from me and is probably going to get in my face pretty soon. So to describe the setup for everyone who's listening, we have you in the middle of a street. There is basically a crossroads at either end of the street. You're in the middle of one. Some of the buildings have been already looted. Some of them have metal gratings on them, so you couldn't have gotten into anyway. And the street is populated by a lot of vehicles, metal and so on, or which... Most of which are overturned and or malfunctioning. Most of which are overturned, malfunctioning, and for the most part, just in the way. Also, there's fire. Well, there's a barrel. There's a barrel fire, but it's not the end of the world. So, nice and cozy. with that in mind, you have fired your two missiles. One of them hits each person at each end of the street. Yep. They basically give a growl, but don't have time to act before. Sasha, you're up. Which way, Wild? She shouts, and then... Okay, so she's going to run at the guy that Hamid just hit for five, yep. and then tumble through his square, because she has now... Oh, uh, yeah, you've got your new shiny feet, Tammy. Yes, from when she died and then was resurrected, she has slightly faster speed, mm -hmm. and then that made, meant that it made sense to take the feet. Lethal acrobatics, which means that when she uses acrobatics to get through an enemy's square, that enemy is flat-footed, so she gets to sneak attack here! Or her. Or, or it. Or it. Or they. <laughs> I, I, I mean, point of information, it's a row town, not a feet. But uh, Sorry, yes. I'll, I'll take off my fedora. Well, they're kind of, they're kind <laughs> of equivalent, given that like, some of the row talents Getting are... Getting it right and all. Some of the row talents are have a feet, so yeah. the distinction's fairly nuanced. I, yep, so... So yeah, you do that. Give run. me an acrobatics roll. Yep, yep, yep. Ooh, Flip. 19 plus 11. Uh, perfect, la perfect landing. Oh, oh, oh. Hands in the air, <laughs> judges go wild. <laughs> Hands in the air and then stabs in the head. Suddenly <laughs> there's, there's knives in her hand. You're not sure how they got there, but she did stick the landing. Yeah, yeah so you... She, well, the knives in her hand because she's got, like, the spring-loaded wrist sheets. So you charge straight at him, straight over. Yep. Very, very easy. Very elegantly. Land on top of an overturned <laughs> building. And the judge is 9, <laughs> 9. 5, 8, and a 7 because somebody thought that she could have done something slightly harder, obviously. Mm -hmm. She didn't have rapies in her hands, it was yeah. just daggers, just and I'm a rapier daggers. person. I mean, really? So, anyway, you can also take an attack if you want. Yes, we will. I'm well, assuming I, you would like I to. I will with my daggers. And you only get the one attack because you have moved but first. Each, but since it's a sneak attack, it's 2d6 yeah. plus 1. Correct. For the damage. You had roll d20 to hit. Oh! What is it? 4, 
So only 12. Only 12? So that is not a hit. Oh, so she does that, tumbles over him, and then like, bang, the dagger hits the, hits the car. Honestly, it's more than a case of you charge, you flip over, you have the daggers in your hand, and then you stab out of them. Mm. And they move in the weirdest way. Mm. You stab out, I and don't think they're entirely human. They're bending in a way that you couldn't have predicted. So it's your your attack was perfectly fine, oh. but you find yourself hitting coat where you're fairly certain liver should have been. <laughs> so Oh, I like I like the smell of liver in the morning. <laughs> How many? Smells like breakfast. Mm. The surprise round, obviously you had your action yep. and now you're into the main round and you rolled well in initiative again because you you've clearly got something going on. Go for it, what do you do? I cast my exciting new level two spell, Ooh. Scorching Ray. Describe oh. Scorching Ray for us. First, how it works mechanically, <laughs> the and then how it looks. So the way you said that Scorching Ray, <laughs> you summon, you go, hi, I'm Ray. I'm Ray. <laughs> <laughs> I've got some zingers in here. <laughs> <laughs> I've never noticed how ogres drive. <laughs> So Hamid is angry. He's got a lot of misplaced <laughs> anger and he just flings a pointed finger straight out in front of him at the approaching, slightly scary looking dude and basically screams with rage. And the fire sort of erupts simultaneously from both the end of his finger and very slightly from his mouth. Oh, it's probably fine. Everything's well, probably, probably fine. Probably fine. That's That's fine. fine. Uh, ranged <laughs> touch attack. Ranged touch. But he is flat-footed against this attack, so yep. his touch flat-footed AC is probably only ten, maybe eleven. And I rolled a thirteen. Thirteen. You do not hit. <gasps> Seriously. The flat-footed AC for these particular characters are particularly on a touch high. attack. On a touch, yeah. Flat-footed AC, yeah. That is ridiculous. <laughs> So, you point your finger and basically, yeah, that beam of fire with a little bit from the mouth just fires out in a perfectly straight, almost laser straight line and goes slightly wide. Again, it wasn't actually your fault. They've moved in a really unpredictable and weird way that's thrown you off. Bertie, you're up. Right, so uh, Bertie, his sword is drawn. He charges at the chap that Hamid was just firing. You are not at. able to charge because there is not a direct line from you to them. I'm oh, I'll take a five You could up. move an attack, but you could not charge. Oh, then I move an attack. Okie doke. You just walk fast. In fairness, the only real difference is that you don't get a slightly extra bonus. You don't bonus. get plus two okay. to your attack roll. All right, Okay. that is what Bertie does. Cleft! Cleft in twain! Yes. So, um, the uh, chap that he's attacking is just one side of the car. Mm-hmm. So Bertie is going to attack from left to right rather than right to left in an attempt to slam him against the side of the car with his sword. Presumably your shield is on your arm, as it always yeah. is, and we yeah. never mention. Yes. Mm-hmm. Of course. Carry on. Yeah. Give me the attack. Uh, yes. Am I doing a power attack? I'm probably not doing a power attack because these people have been pretty good at dodging. So I'm just going to do They're quite dodgy. For a regular attack. Oh. 17. 17? Not a hit. What? Again, you slice through with your sword, and then the top half of what you are rapidly deciding is not a person literally folds 90 degrees back so that instead of you clefting in, in twain, it whistles over the torso and then rewrites itself as if nothing had happened at all. Okay, that's freaky, guys. I- that's just cheating, isn't it? <laughs> I'm, I'm placing my bets on a coat full of rats. At which point, <laughs> it is the action of the person that Bertie just took a hit at. We will call this one... Number one. Number one. Okay. Number one separates it was rats in the middle. <laughs> a coat is thrown off, it's revealing rats. two toddlers. Two rats. gnomes oh. stacked on top no. of one another. Gnomes. gnomes! Are you serious? I am genuinely serious. Okay. The top one flips mm. and is now beside... The one who did the speaking just goes, Oh, you're in so much trouble today, Sunshine. Are they dressed like lawyers? They are not. They are dressed in full combat gear. They are wearing, obviously, um, armour. They oh my are God, we can loot bristling bodies. with weapons. We've done very little looting of they bodies, They clearly guys. have utility belts and things like that. These guys are tricked out. Oh dear. Been attacked by the circus. <laughs> <laughs> the angry circus. Yeah, the, the fighting circus. Meanwhile... Immediately behind Oscar Wilde, Ooh. two more appear. 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 Dwing, dwing. As if from nowhere, they suddenly appear. One of them jumps on the back of the other and 
drops something over Oscar Wilde's head. It's not a hood. It's smaller than that. Give me a perception check. Uh, uh, all of you, apart from Bertie, because he's facing the wrong way. And he's Bertie. That is 23. 23? 24. 24. And I'm standing, like, next to yeah, Wilde. Yeah, yeah. 15. 15. To be fair, I'm at the other end of the I'll street. S- I'll start with Sasha, and then I'll mm-hmm. work towards people who saw a bit better. So, Sasha, from your perspective, mm-hmm. from nowhere, and you're certain that these people were probably invisible, mm-hmm. because you, you were keeping an eye on the situation, instantly appear, jump up, and they seem to throw something around Oscar Wilde's head. You can't see what. Zolf and Hamid... You see them, one of them jumps on off the back of the other to launch themselves up and drops what looks like a gag, snaps it over the head of Wild, and then you hear the click of something metallic at the back. Hamid, you had the highest perception. You see that not only does it appear to be a gag, it appears to have some barbs and you see a little bit of blood at the yeah, side of Wild's mouth. They're stopping him spell casting, yeah, yeah. silencing him. By the way, it was very acrobatically done. These are very, very Acrobatic skilled people. people. You're up, Zolf. Cool. All right. Can't really do anything. Uh, I've got inflict moderate wounds, so I will walk up to one. <laughs> You're right. Try it. Try it. Try it. Poke. Sod off. <laughs> <laughs> Poke him. Poke him. <laughs> wow. Poke name. Go. So this is the first time we've hey. had this attack. Walk us through it. It's a touch attack because mm-hmm. I'm touching them. It does 2d8 damage plus my level in negative energy, and I'm assuming these ones aren't undead. They they do not appear particularly yeah. undead. They just appear tricksy. So I just need to do a touch attack, Go for which it. is just my base attack bonus. Mm-hmm. That's a critical fail. That's a critical fail. Yourself. Oh no! <laughs> this is a family podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a second. You yeah. You reach out and. They just look at you, give a kind of withering look, and just very easily just lean slightly out of the way whilst just looking at you like you're nothing. I'll just stare at him deadpan. Why are all our enemies so sarcastic? <laughs> <laughs> all of them. None of them are just like, oh, that was, they're all like, almost oh, like that. bless. It's almost like they're all run by the same slightly irritating little nerve. <laughs> hey, what can I say? What wow. Can I say? Wow. And you know what? I'm really that to... because he knows that he's a big nerd. <laughs> he only says that because he missed with the scorching red. He's I'm really, really salty upset about that. <laughs> thing is about big nerds, if you take a swing at them, they delight with two little nerds. <laughs> Awful. Thing is, we're all medium nerds. Yeah. Like, so, humans. number two mm-hmm. turns into two gnomes in a coat. <laughs> so now we've got 2.2 and 2.1. Indeed. One of them, using a leg up from the other one, hup, 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 mm. flips, tumbles to land behind Sasha. Oh, I will see if they the same succeed. Trick as me, don't they? One second. Not happy about this. You're flanked now. They succeed. I don't get flanked, that's not right! They then take an attack oh. as they tumble. Yeah. The one that's still on the ground will get a minus one for being on lower ground. Correct. Than Sasha. Correct. Yeah. The one that is higher up, however, takes an attack and. <laughs> so the one who is just tumbled over draws the rapier and takes a swing. And then, no matter how slick they looked, completely botches it Yay. and loses their rapier. Yay. They, they swing it round, it hits the wing mirror of the um, vehicle they're on and wedges. It just goes, Brink! and he finishes his swing with his hand empty, looks down at his hand, looks up, looks a little bit concerned. They've moved that- through my square. Mm-hmm. Do I get an attack of opportunity? They tumbled, they yeah, tumbled they, they did what you so did. you do not. They did exactly right. the same thing you did, oh, but okay. didn't do the attack on the fly, mm-hmm. so they wouldn't have gotten sneak attack damage. Also, that will teach that gnome for trying to slash with a piercing weapon. <laughs> I'll just swing a rapier! <laughs> Good point. Good point, well made. You, know you idiot gnome! <laughs> <laughs> the lower gnome... Rolls higher. Rolls Ooh. also really badly. Yay! Turns out that they're really, really, really flashy, but they may not actually be so good at the hitting. Ooh, good, good. Oh, I see. So we can't hit them, and they can't hit us. This will be lead, lead to a short and intense, exciting <laughs> fight. <laughs> <laughs> Sasha, you're up. You are currently flanked. Yeah, she is. I would advise you not just walking away. That would end badly for you. Yeah, I think she's going to have to tumble again. She's going to be tumbling... <laughs> She's Tum- turning into Tumble a very time. Spider-Man fight at that end yeah, of the street. Yeah, she's going to, I think, jump straight over this one so I'm still high yep. up. Give um, me another tumble check. Yeah, I'm 21. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My Define. acrobatics plus is 11, so yeah. it's going to be really Brilliant. hard to fail. Welcome to why, when we were discussing this, I was going, that is slightly OP, but I'll allow it. She's going, it's 
not that OP. Your acrobatics is plus 11. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> Give your attack roll and you will be getting sneak attack on the damage. This is on the one that is yeah. upon the vehicle with you. Okay, so I rolled a four, which... You will not hit, I can I just won't. say now. I won't, no. This is going to be great fun. Again, they, they are tricksy. They are tricksy. <laughs> so we're just like bending and warping over each other. It's like the freaking Matrix. Oh, <laughs> uh, with trench coats and everything. Yeah. So. Oh. Wild, who got a penalty to his action because of what was going on, takes... A fort save and fails. Oh no. Fort save again poison maybe? Horrible gag poison. Mm -hmm. He immediately drops prone. Oh dear. Thanks, Wild, you've been ever so helpful. <laughs> <laughs> In fairness, targeted hit squats do tend to be quite good at dealing with the person they're hitting, don't they? But You'll probably uh, get a lot of experience. <laughs> <laughs> Because so. it's the name everyone gives to their mistakes. Boom! <laughs> Hamid, you're up. Uh, you just missed with a scorching ray. You've never done that before. Not I've never missing. cast You've a done scorching that before. ray. No, I haven't. The only offensive spell I've ever cast in the past has been. There was an acid splash you missed once. Oh, you might be right. <laughs> Being a classic sorcerer, I back off. I'm going to hide behind the corner of this overturned vehicle. You are wise beyond your years. Uh, but I still want to help out my good friend Zolf. Uh, so I'm going to cast another magic missile because I can't miss with magic missile. <laughs> Try as you might. I'm going to target with both the missiles the one that Dolph just missed with his kill moderate uh, cause inflict moderate wounds. Yep. <laughs> okay, go uh, for it. I say go I, for I it. Assume, just I just tell me how much pain they take because that's magic missile. I assume that Zolf succeeded, and therefore this will be excellent. Uh, he takes eight damage total. Eight damage. Okay. Yep, you hit them, they take that, and they look very annoyed at you. Oh, good. Yeah, <laughs> it'll be fine. Bertie, you're up. On the bright side, you sort of successfully bisected someone. Oh, wait, but do then you have cleave? Sort of yes. unsuccessfully, they turned into two people. <laughs> I do not yet have cleave. No. Is that where you could stick them together? Because cleave <laughs> yeah. means both. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, cleave, cleave means you can hit one, then the other. Ah. And then there's greater cleave. The best feat, which is, as long as there are enemies, you can hit them. Okay, uh, so Bertie, again, he swings his magic sword. Which one? At the one closest to the car. Okay. Oh, they're both next to a car. <laughs> uh, there are two cars! The one that's immediately in front of him, and this time he's learnt from his previous mistakes, so he's just going to go straight down and attempt to go through. <laughs> uh, eight, uh, 17. Does not hit. Oh! He just shimmies out the way. Again, they're, they're just quick. They're amazingly quick. They are as quick as Sasha is after she's been modified, it seems, to your eyes. Oh, because the Gorman was getting brains, so probably had some involvement mm -hmm. and maybe got upgraded foot soldiers. Upgraded the them. two who were by Wild immediately wheel and turn on Zolf. Hello. <laughs> Fun times for Zolf. Fun I times mean, for Zolf. I am a wearing armour. Uh, no, I'm not. Oh, no, I just don't have anything. <laughs> Dear. One of them tumbles to directly behind Zolf. Let's see if they succeed. They do not. Attack of opportunity? Yes. Uh, yes. I will punch him in the nose. <laughs> <laughs> do it. Do it like a boss. Ben. No. <laughs> There's no way a five is hitting. So here's what happens. <laughs> <laughs> they both wheel around on you, murder in their eyes. The one on you, on the right, from your perspective, mm -hmm. literally starts doing a full backflip. You do a wild swing with your fist. It sees you, massively overestimates your ability <laughs> as a combatant, <laughs> twists in the air, it. and lands flat on his back, not even behind you, beside you. That was oh. a, that's what happens on your one on a tumble check. They, you didn't get the hit oh. on them, but they just... Probe. They overestimated you and it played into your hands amazingly. Fair enough. <laughs> so I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I meant to do all <laughs> yeah. of that. The one who didn't tumble takes a swing. And what is your AC currently, Zolf? 11. 11. Oh, Hits. Ben. 10 plus my dex mod because I'm wearing clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Dealing just five damage. I'm just a man with watery legs. <laughs> It's just a dwarf. Wow, just a dwarf yeah. So it deals five damage. Five it damage. is from a rapier and it just jabs at you basically. Cool. Wrong. 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 Zolf, you're up. 
Uh, cool. Uh, I'm gonna You're grab. Actually, doing the, really well. <laughs> I'm gonna grab the rapier from that idiot. What fell over? Uh, okay, that'll be a disarm check, which is a combat manoeuvre. Roll well, roll well, roll well. I did. Yay! Yay! Twenty-one. You, you successfully. That's, yeah, that's. You successfully work. disarm the opponent who's on the floor. So, having tumbled, going, oh, I'll have you. Landing immediately prone after you failed to hit them, you just sort of reach down, and while they're still dealing with this situation, just take their sword. Off. <laughs> <laughs> with the power of humiliation. <laughs> Shame is a very powerful ally. I take it you're the clown of the posse. Dump him in the same. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm first. I'm going to start by sh- stabbing him in the juggalo. <laughs> <laughs> so you've rainbows. How do they work? Do they work? <laughs> you, you've successfully disarmed them. Stab them will... all into one of the cars. <laughs> <laughs> you do still have a move action, but you do not have a standard action because you used it to disarm. Yes, yeah, so that's fine. I'm getting his sword is, is fine. Um, yeah, I will. Uh, no, I will just be defensive, which I don't think I can do mechanically because I used it. That's but a standard you, action. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna. Be you're defense- so I'm ready. really defensive. Oh, I'm holding so my rapier ready. like. <laughs> if he rises from prone, you get an attack of off. That's so true, actually. Yeah, I'll, just, have a I'll, weapon just, now. I'll just threaten them. That's basically it. I love it. <laughs> he falls over. Nerds. You steal his sword. He gets back up. You stab him with it. <laughs> Come on. That's kind of awesome. <laughs> If only there was a way for you to like poison the sword at the same time and then give it back to him or something, <laughs> just to keep layering it on. It or <laughs> so the two who are facing off against Sasha, oh dear. although it hasn't been going particularly well, the one you are currently faced off on, on the same level as the mm-hmm. um, vehicle, tries to tumble over you to behind you. Of course, I shouldn't have let you know that that, that rogue talent existed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They do not succeed. Oh. Are they prone? They are not prone, no. they just failed to tumble. They, so You do, however... They'll move to where they want, you'll just get an attack of opportunity. Okay, yes. Cool. I'm gonna stab, 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 stab. that. But you only get the multiple attacks when you haven't moved. 17. It is a miss. Oh. You shank out again, but they are being way more cautious of you because they've realised that in their eyes, you, you get the impression that they, they value you as the threat here. Oh, here's a second. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, yeah, well, shame is a powerful weapon, but so is pride. <laughs> <laughs> the lower one, the one who is currently not on the vehicle, attempts mm-hmm. to tumble up onto the vehicle, mm-hmm. succeeds, oh dear. takes an attack, mm-hmm. and is flanking, so gets the bonus. Mm-hmm. What is your AC? 18. Does not hit. Yay. Yay! So all of them are wielding rapiers, and you all see now that they all have bows on their backs. Mm-hmm. When I say they're kitted out, they're kitted out for long range, short range. These are professionals who know what they're doing. And Apart just, from the one who fell over. A, clearly there's one new recruit who's <laughs> not pulling their weight, but they are all attacking with rapiers apart from the one who's currently disarmed and lying on the ground. <laughs> womp womp. Womp womp. Sasha's so, appraising the gear. Appraise, Sasha, appraise. you are up. You are currently flanked. Right, so I think there's going to be more tumbling. Whee. This is just getting a bit ridiculous over here. You're faster than them. You yeah. should tumble out of their range and then throw a bomb. Ooh, particularly if they're both on the car. I wonder yep. if there's still fuel in the car. And there's fire in the barrel. Okay, Sasha is going to bounce off the car and throw a bomb at them. Give me the tumble check. Yep. Just so much this is high risk. Fire. I like this. Uh, so 11 plus 11, 22. <laughs> So you successfully tumble away. They mm-hmm. both take a, an opportunistic swing at you, but neither of them get it. You're you're better than them, and you know it. Yeah, but there are two of them, you're and I'm still, not much better. You're <laughs> still able yeah. to throw a bomb if you choose. Yep, I will throw that bomb. Eighteen. Eighteen. It is sufficient. Yeah. You plant the bomb between the two of them. Roll your damage. Whoa. Yes. <laughs> That's two d six plus yeah. two slash for both each. Uh, it's, it's just a range, so just it's, oh, yeah. you just roll it one, and we okay. tally it for all of them. Uh, ooh, okay, so eight, nine, ten. Yeah, so it's eight, eight damage with the bomb, mm-hmm. and yeah. then two splash damage. So presumably one of them takes eight, and the other one takes two. But I will also, because I'm a nice guy, mm-hmm. give the damage to the one who was already damaged. Oh, cool. Yeah, the one who I got. You with got the magic missile. Yeah, there, with yeah. a missile. Lydia, yep. highs mm-hmm. or lows? Highs. This is on you. The vehicle yep. takes an enormous amount of damage from that bomb. Some would say a, an extremely large amount of damage that might, you know, compromise certain... Uh, it explodes. Yay! The car explodes. Yay! The car explodes. I'm quite close to that, though, mm-hmm. so mixed feelings. Are you within 20 feet? Uh, yes. Yes. 
<laughs> I'm, I'm very deliberately. 15. Yeah, deliberately. I have good news. I have bad news. Well, I've got that reflex, reflex, reflex save yeah, re for correct. half damage at that range. Reflex at half damage. Okay. Yes. So twenty-three. You take half damage. Yay! She's got evasion. She takes no damage. Yeah, oh, yeah I do have. Evasion. You duck the fireball. And you were all like, High five. "Oh, evasion, rubbish!" You just dodged a full explosion by going, "Oh, that looks a bit much," and then yeah. just kind of didn't get hit. That I'll hide fun. behind this piece of string I have. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It blows both of the gnomes straight off the top. They one Whoa. of them lands on the far side of the vehicle. Whoa. The other one lands in at Sasha's feet. Oh. Yeah. Both of them are prone. Yeah. The one at the far side took by far the most damage of the two. Okay. They both took decent damage, and the one who is at your feet is prone and mm -hmm. looks in a bad way. Maybe stunned, maybe dazed. You don't know yet. Okay. At that, I think we'll take a break and be back in a couple of minutes. Ooh. Hey. Hey, uh, you, yeah, no, y you with a face, yeah. I, I know I shouldn't be here, but I got in like a wet ferret slipping through the hands of a moisturiser salesman, you know me. I just needed to let you know about this deal, right? Uh, you head over to rustyquill.com and follow the links to the store, or go on redbubble.com and search for us. I've been appraising this stuff, and it is good. There's all sorts of stuff in there. You want Brutor's face on a mug? You got it. You want Hamid's face on the wall? It's there. You want Bertie's face? Why? Yeah, well, I, I, I gotta go now, but you just remember, right? Head over to rustyquill.com, follow the links. Tell them I sent you. Just, um, well, I just wondered, though, uh, are you gonna eat all that eel quiche? And welcome back. So you have successfully exploded, people. Boom! They're properly fire, exploded. Fire, fire. What happened to the fire barrel that was right next to you? The fire going? barrel was just full of some small pieces of wood. It okay. tipped over. Fair. <laughs> Slightly. Hi. Well, it wasn't I, like I wanted it to be just like comically untouched. Like there's a huge explosion <laughs> next to it and then you just cut to the thing, it's like just peacefully crackling away. Yeah. It's festive almost. So, <laughs> wild turn. He kind of goes... <laughs> He's lying in the gutter. He takes his turn to stare at the stars. Oh. Um, yeah, you're right. It's, oh, it's, what time of day is it? Uh, it's early evening. They are? All right, yeah. fine. Hamid. Some of up. us are looking at the stars. Uh, I'm still worried about Zolf because he's not wearing armour. Hello. Mm -hmm. So I shoot the same one I shot before with another two magic missiles. That is the one he's squaring off at? Yep. Uh, and this time I do six damage. He's looking a bit beaten up. He He... Over his shoulder, turns to you. I hide. Gives a very oh, calculating oh. look. Bertie, you're up. Bertie, once again, he's just going to roll to hit the same chap he was trying to hit yep. for. Roll and more than an eight. Yeah, I know. Oh, six. Uh, plus nine is 15. It does not hit. Yeah. Again. Ding. So angry right now, Bryn, that I am very angry. <laughs> he just swapped the dice out again because obviously that one's broken. <laughs> Bertie, having gone from uh, top left to bottom right and from top to bottom, <laughs> makes a direct jab straight through. Shank, shank, shank. Yeah. It fails to hit. Again, the gnome very easily sidestepped, gives an, a concerned look as what a sword that is bigger than himself <laughs> sort of glances by. And Swear then, uh, at him in gnomish. He'll be surprised Ooh, you speak. Yes, it. Bertie, Bertie <laughs> swears very loudly, and it's a combination swear that only exists in. He doesn't realise he's saying it like this. It's a combination swear that is the name for um, a secondary sexual characteristic of uh, mm -hmm. being inserted uh, into a parent, and it's also a racial slur. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's those three things combined. But Bertie doesn't realise he's saying this. He's just cross. Yeah, so it. <laughs> The earthware. Yeah. <laughs> yep. The uh, the one that you've just attempted to stab looks at you, and the, the, both of them stop. They just stop, <laughs> look at you, and just kind of cock their head. They're, like they have no idea what to make of this. <laughs> to the point where are you going to register them as mechanically stunned? <laughs> <laughs> the one that's facing off against you takes a five foot step back. <laughs> in shock. <laughs> How dare you, sir? My <laughs> mother was a saint. <laughs> I'm going to write a strongly worded letter. As, As does the other character. Mm -hmm. Both of them drop their apiers, they don't sheath them, and pull off from their backs from what look to be like quick release things, composite bows, and both of them draw. 
I don't want to sully their weapons with your filthy mouth. The one who is beside Zolf. On the floor? On the floor. Mm-hmm. Rolls away for five feet. Aha. Uh-huh. Oh, he takes a five foot roll. <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> However, a massive sandwich. because Pathfinder <laughs> is Pathfinder, he can't stand up because that's a full round action. Oh, I'm just going to follow him around the back. <laughs> <laughs> Just kicking him lightly. Just <laughs> Where are you going? We did. We did. <laughs> the one who is squaring off against Zolf takes another stab because if it ain't broken, don't fix it. Although it's rapidly turning out to be broken. Mm-hmm. Just, just hits. It's Aww. a glancing blow to the arm. Is that the first damage we've taken? No, no I already took five. Uh, he doesn't have any armor on. Yeah. This is a pathetic. I need to get. Yeah, I need to get. Have you got up. armor of fate or something? Isn't there a spell like that? That's uh, good. Yes, I've got Shield of Faith. Um, well, I a fa- yeah, that works. You take two you damage. You still trigger an attack of art. Yeah. You, try and you I- take two damage. Again, it's a super glancing blow. And the person you're squaring off against looks like he's calculating. Mm-hmm. None of them, by the way, has said anything to coordinate with one another or uttered a word since that initial hello, message. basically. Clearly got a message. Zolf. <laughs> you're just up. embarrassed. Yeah. They're just embarrassed at all having fallen over, so none of them yeah. speaking to one another. Five foot steps, so you're still threatening the dude on the floor? Uh, yeah, so I'm going to take <laughs> a five foot step uh, diagonally backwards. Ah, so you've created a gap between you and the person who's going off while simultaneously still threatening the one who you, you just disarmed. stabbed the one on the floor. <laughs> I'm going to look at the one who just stabbed me, yep. um, hold eye contact, and just icicle him. <laughs> 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 because. I have a supernatural ability which I forgot about. <laughs> um, Isn't that always the way? It's great. Uh, yeah, it's a standard range touch. Roll well. Uh, no, I just refuse. <laughs> um, you can't tell me what to do. You're not my real mum. <laughs> I can roll as poorly as I like. There's some people that you just I'm have ice help. cream for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to look both ways when I cross this road. It's a critical, uh. critical fail eating the ice cream. Ice cream is everywhere. And that's where the bicycle attack is. Yeah. Critical <laughs> fail at eating ice cream. Uh, ice cream is on the floor now. <laughs> that's what happens when the you The real fail with tragedy. Ice cream. Yeah, um, yeah uh, the icicle zips past his head, I assume, <laughs> or there. Head. The one who is on the floor facing Sasha mm-hmm. looks up, has clearly made a decision, mm-hmm. puts his fingers in his mouth, and I'm not going to do it because of the mics, does yep. a, a shrill whistle. Yep. Then proceeds to Massive flapping hippogriff take the full round action to just stand up and accept the fact he's going to get stabbed in the face. Yep. So I just, I just roll. Yep. To hit. 21. 21 to hit. That's yep. a hit. And then, but all it is is a d4. You say all it is. You've dealt an enormous amount of damage in a very quick space of time. No, no, I know. I mean, this in this particular case, <laughs> sure, sure. like it's the thing, like it's just a stabby stab. It's one d4 minus one. Just a little nip on his shoulder. Almost a friendly. <laughs> <laughs> Something to remember. Me, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> We're again, blood brothers and now. Again, <laughs> and again and again and again and a stab and a stab and a stab. And a stab. Okay. Just like leaking from paper cuts all over mm-hmm. myself. Wiles rolls over and is now not looking at the stars. <laughs> oh, some of us are in the stars. Hamid, the you are up. <laughs> oh dear, the one who just gave me an evil look is suddenly not in melee combat with anyone. <laughs> Hamid. I love how, like, very carefully you're just like, time to kill. <laughs> <laughs> Today is the day. Hamid casts Scorching Ray. Go for it. With another burst of fiery rage. 12, that's an 18 on a ranged touch attack. It is a hit. Oh boy. <laughs> How much damage are we dealing? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my word. 23 damage. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's quite a lot. Okay. Hello is... boys, the sorcerer has arrived. <laughs> That's from zero to KO but not dead, but you know. Well, yeah, remember this is the same dude I've hit with magic missile already. That's, that's what I mean. Like he's he's well on the way. He is not insta dead, but he's as close as makes no difference. Describe it to me. In fact, describe it from Zolf's perspective. <laughs> the person who he's just made eye contact and then icicles just whistled over his shoulder. He just slam cuts me in the diary room. <laughs> <laughs> from the other side, Zolf can see Hammond out the, the the corner of his eye, and he sees this sort of rage and this fire burst forth from Hamid's fingertips and his face looks for a very brief second just slightly more pointed than it used to and this beam of bright fire 
lances out and it crashes against this person. It's like it's like a flamethrower. It's you know, except in a tight beam. But when it hits something, it explodes in the classic sort of flamethrower burst of fire. And this guy is, for just a split second, engulfed. This is surprisingly powerful. Mm. I mean, it was a good roll. You haven't seen, yeah, but you haven't seen anything like this from Hamid before. Yeah, this, and you probably haven't seen magic of that level before either. Slam cut to the room. And looking back on it now, <laughs> that was when I decided that Hamid had to die. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious, though? No. If there was just a 1% chance. <laughs> anyway, excellent. Bertie, you're up. That's nearly you hear, as well as I You can hear the distinct damage. sound of Solid. another explosion and screams behind you. It's probably fine. I find this very comforting. So, having had the two gnomes uh, gently take a couple of paces back, mm-hmm. Bertie takes one single step towards them, at exactly the same distance. Uh, his face full of fury, he stands between the two of them and swings at one that is now backed up against the side of the car there. Uh, 15. See, Ben, you can't argue with results. I switch the dice, and you finally roll better. <laughs> 15 plus 9 is 24. That is everything about the situation. Yep. Uh, 14 damage. <laughs> so, Ooh, what, is he only way. what are you looking at? He is still standing. He twists and angles his body so that he's not taking a weapon bigger than himself to the torso. Yep. But you still manage to slice from shoulder to shoulder across the back. Fair enough. All right, cool. The one you didn't attack tumbles out from that square to get a bit more distance. Succeeds, so he tumbles two on top of mm-hmm. the vehicle and then aims and takes a shot at Hamid in the back from up high. Oh, he gonna burn. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna call line of sight shenanigans on that. He's back, I'm probably he's back have against partial the car. cover. Yeah, definitely getting cover. He's so tiny. Which is what, plus one, plus two AC? I will do two things. One, I will just not engage with this. And two, I will roll a two, so the question's immaterial. <laughs> <laughs> you go ahead and do that. <laughs> the one that Bertie fought flips up onto the vehicle beside Bertie. Winces. Fails to do so, provoking an attack of opportunity. <laughs> oh, yeah! He, he jumps up against the side of the car, hits the side of the car, falls back down. Roll a normal yep, attack. To attack him. Uh, 11 plus 9 is 20. That's a hit. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. And damage is uh, 14 damage. He's down. Okay, is he's he down. dead? Or? He's, you can't tell. He does a flip, and then you just go, no! The gnome attempts to leap up uh, on top of the car, mm-hmm. hits the side of the car, falls back down uh, on his feet, but Bertie takes the sword and whacks him so hard that he's carried up into the air against the side of the car, <laughs> crushing and denting into the breastplate. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the gnome then falls down against the side of the car, wheezes, <laughs> and passes out. Oh, it was a big hit. Bertie, Bertie then leans down and repeats the previous swear word. <laughs> <laughs> as a, Twice! As a, as a free action, the one who tumbled away from you and didn't get annihilated, mm. fingers to the lips, blows again for a whistle. Okay, the one who is beside Zolf on the ground... <laughs> Whilst lying down, staring into the smouldering body of his friend, reaches into his jacket, pulls out a bottle, and necks it. Triggers an attack of opportunity. He does trigger an attack of opportunity. No. It doesn't hit. He turns invisible. Rude. (laughs) The other one is extremely not moving. (laughs) Interpret that as you will. Zolf, you are up. You just saw someone at your feet turn invisible. Uh, Cool. I am going to... Stab the mass where he was, because oh, that happened like absolutely. a moment ago. That's 18. That would normally be a hit. However, time to examine invisibility rules in Pathfinder, because it is something that is going to come up probably mm-hmm. again. So, part, oh, of the thing, <laughs> part of the thing with invisibility is you know that the person is in that square. You know that they are there, but you don't know how they're moving their body and so on. So the way this plays out is they get a 50% blanket miss chance on top of the chance to hit. Yep. So I'm going to basically do the equivalent of flipping a coin to see whether you even get where they are before your attack roll applies. So okay. evens hit, odds miss? Evens hit, odds miss. It's an even. Whee. So you stab an invisible patch of ground. There is a very satisfying resistance even though the blade is still above the ground. Cool. So as flavour, when I find resistance, I'm just going to lean into it. 
Fine. and try and <laughs> just skewer this gnome so that if you know they try to move, my rapier will wiggle around with them. I mean, Very his nice. ra their rapier will wiggle around <laughs> with them. Um, it's a d6, yeah? D6 is rapier. Oh. Plus your strength. Plus strength. So two. Two? Two whole damage. Don't knock it till you try it. You're hot out, <laughs> Okay. You're going to leave the rapier in? I'm going to yeah. <laughs> oh, do that. It's just there. Yeah. <laughs> do it. Do that as a marker. Like I'm, I'm stuck in. I'm just leaning on it. Yeah. So it's, it's yeah. I'm leaving it in or trying to. The know, question is, are you about? Are you letting go of the sword in the hopes it no. stays in? Okay. No, there we goodness, go. No. I don't know how far in it's gone. <laughs> so the one who was blown off onto the far side of the um, carriage, the mm -hmm. one that you exploded, suddenly comes around, bolts around the side of that carriage, moving at speed. He appears to be paying Sasha no attention whatsoever. The one who is squaring up to Sasha tumbles successfully, does a backflip, triple twist in the air, lands and then runs, beelining towards what looks to be Oscar Wilde. Sasha, you're up. Sasha doesn't like this at all, so she's going to charge <laughs> at that little guy and uh, stab him in the back. You've been spending too long around Bertie. Yeah. Just saying. <laughs> yep. It's bad influence. Uh, 20. Plus two for the charge action. 22, it's a fine attack. Two damage. That's fine. He, he takes it and gives a grunt, whilst having a lovely time. <laughs> Hamid, you're up. Hamid, sort of spotting what might be going on, moves to stand next to Wild, but looks back up on top of the vehicle he's just edged out from uh, at the person who just shot an arrow at him and casts Scorching Ray. <laughs> 20. It's a hit. So many dice! So this many is the guy who took a bit of damage Hamid's, from your first match. This is becoming list, problematic. Yeah, that's four damage. This is not a good roll with damage, though. 13. Oh, why are you getting plus four? Uh, so. Oh, plus one, are you? Because it's a fire based spell, and I have a special affinity for fire based magic, I get plus one to each dice. So Ooh. I am better than yeah. anyone else at my level would be at casting this specific oh. spell. Okay. Because fire's great. Mm. Basically. And this is the first time Hamid has discovered this. <laughs> I wonder what kind of dragon Hamid might turn into. I don't know. Lightning. Yeah, I Some think it's poison. poison. Oh, poison, poison. yeah. Good yeah, shout, good shout. Black and sticky. You know, <laughs> yeah. Sticky or dark green. <laughs> so that was 13 damage. Yep. He is still moving. A lot less than my previous Scorching Ray. There is a burst of flame and a whole chunk of the armour just explodes off and is superheated and buries itself in a wall. He looks significantly injured. It's going to have a bad time. So, Bertie, you're up. You've successfully uh, annihilated someone. Yeah. However, the other person is a bit more tricksy because they're on a topper carriage. Yeah, so Bertie now turns around at having whispered the vilest obscenities into the ear of his <laughs> fallen foe. Um, he, he briefly considers just slitting the hamstrings of the fallen <laughs> gnome. Doesn't. Wait, makes me so uncomfortable to cheer for a racist. <laughs> Race is bigger. Yeah. Those are two things. Yeah. Turns around, looks, well, not daggers, bastard swords, because he's very angry. <laughs> <laughs> at the gnome that skipped back on top of the car, and he then charges at the car. <laughs> uh, he is, this is an upturned vehicle. He is going to attempt to right it on top of the gnome, because mm. uh, there's no way that he can get up on top of it. He's got a minus eight to acrobatics. <laughs> he's not going to be doing that. So this is a combat maneuver, which means you'll get plus seven to this dice roll. Oh, lovely. Oops, fell off the table. Oh, two plus <laughs> seven is nine. The car quizzes. So Bertie just slams <laughs> into the side of the car. The windows smash open. It tilts very slightly. <laughs> but not before you have a massive extra dent in your helmet because you misjudged the door jam in such a way that your hands plunge through the glass of the window <laughs> and your head just... <laughs> you actually did amazingly well in an attempt to turn over a car using only your face. <laughs> <laughs> Disappointing. Okay. Welcome yeah. to Pathfinder. Bertie. Yeah. The gnome that you just tried to tip the car over smirks sarcastically. Oh. Reaches in, pulls something out, and necks a bottle and disappears before your eyes. <laughs> so, the one that Zolf has been stabbing has an action. Hello. Because of the way the game works, let's not dig too deeply. I know, I know. You feel them pull away from the rapier. That's what happens. Pathfinder! <laughs> Zolf, it's your turn. Cool. Well, having been denied an invisible one, I will take a five foot step and stab this one in the face. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, ooh, that's not bad. Um, that's a 19. A 19? That's not a 19, it's a 17 plus 2. It's a 19 accidentally! Yeah. <laughs> that's a hit. I'm glad we went on that roller coaster journey. <laughs> this is what it's like to be me. Uh, four? Four. Stop giving me numbers with question marks. <laughs> this, is, this is not an okay way of functioning. Um, so I walk in front of him. Um, obviously, a bit shocked that, oh, I've been stabbed in the back. Oh, now there's a dwarf there. Um, <laughs> And just pop the uh, rest the um, tip of the rapier on his collarbone and push forwards. <laughs> so, well, as he runs, he runs himself onto the Pretty much, yeah, just like. <laughs> you you manage to quite easily do so. It it looks very painful. That's very painful. The point. You're doing a lot of skewering. Good mm, skewering. With the rapier. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm not like that idiot who's like I'm gonna swing and bonk you with the side <laughs> of this rapier. <laughs> with that in mind, the idiot who was swinging and bonking with the side of the rapier. Oh yeah. Drinks a potion and goes mm. invisible. These people with their equipment. Mm. The one who is facing off against Zolf has a bit of a dilemma. <laughs> There's a lot of people who want him dead in a very small space. With that in mind, tumble Yay. up onto a vehicle, mm. praying that the tumble check does not fail, which it does <laughs> nice. spectacularly. So does he get there or does he not? Both Sasha and Zolf get an attack of opportunity. Yeah, the move succeeds. Just a free attack. But mm-hmm. You'll still have the flanking bonus. Yes. Yeah. So that's a plus two on the attack. That's 16 for me. 16 is a miss. I have 17. 17 is also a miss, I'm afraid. <sighs> so it was a very solid attempt from both of you, and the gnome gets away by the skin of its teeth. Like, really barely gets mm-hmm. away. Does the tumble, reaches in, glug, 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 disappears. It was so close. Sasha, you're going to wave her hands a little bit frustratedly <laughs> and then uh, run over to Wild, kicking the one that's prone in the process. <laughs> Just a little. <clears throat> yeah. Tenderize the meat. They're coming for him. <laughs> and he's the only one that knows what we're doing next. I lock his gag. So uh, she pulls his head up to try and find okay. this gag. You see, it's quite a vicious piece of equipment. Mm-hmm. The gag is in his mouth. Mm-hmm. and also has small barbs in it, so the sides of his mouth has been cut. It's not like slicing his head off or anything, yeah. but it's clear that it's probably administering the poison. It wraps round to the back of the head, uh-huh. and you see a mechanical lock at the back of the head. Oh, what you pick. see is a quick lock, which is quick to lock, yeah. slow to unlock. Yeah. So you could do a disabled device check, but that would be a standard action to do so. She hasn't taken a standard action yet yeah. this round. Correct. So standard action to try and disable that uh-huh. device. Unlock picking at speed. Oh gosh, she only rolls a four, but she does get an eleven bonus, so that's a fifteen. Fifteen? Yeah. Just. <gasps> you're oh, you're you, doing it. What you're kind of a lock can withstand <laughs> what, you, what you've realised is that it's it's been designed specifically mm. to be really slow, mm. so that you have to override the mechanism that's in there. It's mm. not just simulating a key; it's literally making it override in such a way that you can open it quicker than it should otherwise open. Mm. You do so, it pops out. Yeah, and yeah. falls out from Wild's mouth. Uh-huh. He does not respond in any way. Oh dear, poison, look poison. Okay. Uh, but she keeps holding on to him and then has a dagger out. Mm-hmm. She, so he's loot now. Uh huh. Hamid? Hamid casts Mage Armor. Wise. Targeting Wild. It's a extremely touch. wise, yes. Effect. So, what that does, obviously, we've described it before, you have that sort of energy yeah. field around wild. Very faint blue scaly energy field. Mm-hmm. It gives him plus four to AC. So it's 30. Unconscious on the ground, his AC is probably only four. Although it's rapidly powering above Zolf's. <laughs> Bertie, you're up. Okay, so there are no. There are gnomes, no visible no gnomes. Visible gnomes. So, presumably, everything's fine. Bertie's seen them disappear, like he's not that much of an idiot. What Bertie <laughs> is going to do is walk over to the prone but not dead gnome over here yes. by the car. He's going to pick that gnome up by the throat, holds the bastard sword by his ear, slices it off, and it says, uh, to, announces to as many invisible gnomes as might be able to hear him, and he is loud. Come out, come out, wherever you are, or this is going somewhere else. And he holds it at the base of the gnome. That's a sentence I don't hear very often. <laughs> okay, Zolf, you're up. Nothing has happened. Cool. I will uh, walk over to Wild as well. And <laughs> as I so <laughs> casual for the whole thing, it's just been like, I'm doing amazingly well. Ha ha, ha ha, take that. How um, about you? Just have people fall, trip over themselves <laughs> around me. Da da, da. 
grab the prone gnome by the foot and drag him over so he can't be invisible and taken away by his chums. Mm -hmm. Sasha, what do you do? Sasha is going to tip Wild's head back and pour a cure light wounds down his throat. Force feed healthiness! Yep. Go for it. Like kale. <laughs> like a kale smoothie. Whoa. In, a, in a tube up the nostril. It's not even cooked kale, it's just raw. Yeah. Go for it. So roll a d8 plus one. Four. Yep. You see the wounds on Wild's face yeah. heal. This is the sum total of actions that happen to Wild. Does he look asleep? He he just probably be employed. He just looks somewhere. unconscious. Yeah. Like I, I can't give you more than that. You could right. do a heal check to try and get some more info. Uh, might as well let Zolf do it. Ham it. Uh, I cast Mage Armor targeting Zolf. Zolf, would you like to make a will save to resist? No. <laughs> One day someone's going to go yes. They're going to be my friend. Bertie, you're up. So everyone is now shut up, presumably. Mm -hmm. Bertie is still holding the gnome and is listening very intently. Give me a perception check. <sighs> <laughs> for the sake of expediency, mm -hmm. I'm going to roll one stealth check for all of them. High risk, high reward. They are getting, I believe, a plus 40. <laughs> so let's see how this goes. Yeah. Basically only a critical fail. There were no natural ones. You hear nothing. You mm. see nothing. You're definitely alone. Bertie, in rage, slams the gnome head first through the window of the car that he's next to. It's messy. Yeah. Nothing happens. Put him down. Stop. Chopping bits of him, what are you doing? Zolf, you're up. Uh, right, I'm going to do a heal check to find out how this poison's going, uh, what what the crack is. Go for it. <laughs> Balls. <laughs> Uh, well, that's that's not what it is. No. That is a misdiagnosis. Still a, four, still a fourteen. <laughs> it turns out he 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 does not have a serious case of the disease known as balls, <laughs> and you I are you are going to have to figure out what it is. But sure. you're just not sure. He's probably been poisoned. <laughs> At which point, four readied actions go off. Mm-hmm. Four really good attack rolls go off. My eighteen fifteen. What is everybody's flat-footed AC? Fourteen. Fourteen. Thirteen. 20. Yeah, because yeah. it's, oh, it's God, armor. Yeah. All his AC comes from armor. I'm a tank. That was <laughs> a tank that holds a man. I have, I have good news or bad news? They were all attacked at Bertie and they all missed. The good news is, Bertie, Bertie your spin AC off, is... A solo spin-off. <laughs> Bertie does Frasier. <laughs> <laughs> the good news is, Bertie, your AC is very high. The bad news is, everyone, because by fluke they got a natural 20 on the attack on Bertie... They confirm the crit. They cannot confirm a crit with this attack. Okay. Four gnomes spontaneously appear, holding something in each of their hands. They throw what looks like a weird, gloopy sack at each of you. Is that a tangle foot Every back? single one of you is hit with a tangle foot back. Ah. It's such a shame if somebody had freedom of movement. Oh! So, with that in mind... It's such a shame unless tangle anyone... foot bag prevented me from casting Scorching Ray. If, <sighs> if anyone has anything they can uh, bring to bear on this, do let me know. Otherwise, everyone give me a reflex save. Uh, eight. Seventeen. Fifteen. Fifteen. Tell you what, you've all been doing quite well. Mm. So, Zolf, unless you have anything to bring to bear on this, I'm afraid you are stuck to the floor. Oh, I've got water legs. Oh, no, you, or weird. You, well, with the tangle for bag, if anything, you're just going to, like, water the roots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, you provided me with some rigging. <laughs> <laughs> so, as it stands, yes, Zolf, you as get freedom stands. On water legs. Hey. You get freedom of movement three times a day. I'm assuming that that. I will choose to use that. Thank you know you what? Very that, much. That'd be a really good idea. Yeah. Excellent idea. So it, yeah, it literally, as you were describing, it just splashes through the legs as if they weren't there, and then the legs just reassert themselves as a shape. Meanwhile, the rest of you do not get glued to the floor. Which, by the way, good job on your reflex <laughs> saves, guys. <laughs> However, she actually didn't roll that high. Her reflex saves. All of you... Just is. She just is reflex. All of you are now entangled. What that means is you're taking a minus two penalty on attack rolls, a minus four to dex. Oh, no. And you can all only move at half speed. Oh, dear. Even though you weren't stuck to the floor. Oh, no. Sasha's down to a mere 20 foot. <laughs> so, Zolf, freedom of movement. It al allows you to attack normally for the duration of the spell, even under the influence of magic that usually impedes movement, such as paralysis, solid fog foes. Uh, slow web. Combat maneuver checks for grapples automatically fail. You succeed in any combat maneuver checks and escape artist check to escape. And it allows you to move and attack normally while underwater, even if you would not otherwise be able to. So basically, it's dead good. It's super good. That's really good. That's super good. So as it stands, yeah, all of you are covered in sticky goo, finding movement incredibly difficult. Zolf, you're doing all right. Gliding like a wet wipe off a baby. 
<laughs> and on that, how I've always wanted to be described. And, and, and on that note, with no moving in for a sweeping manoeuvre, we'll have to end it there and come back next week. It'll be nice when everything's tidy after they've swept. <laughs> 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 really nice, thank you guys. I need to find a way to like invent brownies. steaks that, that, that matter one day. <laughs> Delicious ones. Hey. Puns, 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 puns. Puns, puns, puns. See you next week. Bye! Bye. Bye. Why am I waving? <laughs> <laughs>